I'm from the Bronx, got taken off to the suburbs at a young age in New Jersey. I came to Columbia Law School, I want to say, for the astounding reputation, but honestly, when I was 22 years old, it was also because I wanted to be in New York, the center of the universe. I came to the law school with this finance background, thinking something financial, certainly big law. and. You know, I really credit the law school for just opening my eyes to public service, government, academia, and that's the direction I ended up going in. I've been in public service now as a prosecutor really for my entire career. I will say that my thinking has really changed, though, about what is an appropriate sentence for many crimes, particularly nonviolent drug offenses. The highlight of my career was trying to identify people who should be removed from prison well in advance of having served their whole sentence. I graduated in 1985, I moved to Philadelphia, I had three kids, I had a long career there. Then in 2010 though, when I turned 50, I just realized that I had some more space in my life to contribute, and that extra something became Columbia. And it just took off from there. I was very involved at the law school. I was on the association. I led it as president for four years. I met Donna McPhee, along with Teresa Saputo and Kathleen Crowley, and they were just getting started with an alumni leadership group. Women from every school to get together and think about programs, events of interest to women. I was like, wow, there's a whole world of interesting, smart, engaged people looking at problems, thinking about issues from all these different angles. And my excitement about that must have been apparent to other people because later that year, I was asked to join the CAA board. And it has been just a glorious and busy time ever since. I have loved being on the planning committee every year for Leaders Weekend. And I had the great honor of chairing that in 2019, the last year we were together. My newest role as a Columbia alum, I just became a university senator. And that opens all new opportunities to say, what can this great institution do for people around the world, but what can this great institution do for New York City and for this little chunk of New York City? Lori Magan, 1985 Columbia Law School. It was very special at commencement. It was a very moving experience, and to have my husband and especially my mother here it seemed more exciting than my graduation all those years ago. 